Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. I hope your week is going well. Uh, so today's video is going to be very um, impromptu. It's going to be very relaxed and everything like that. So I had some videos planned for this week for like the 4K versus the, the 2K video and a couple other things and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Um, unfortunately, my, uh, well not unfortunately, my, my business is growing a little bit here and uh, so I'm going to be doing a uh, going to be working for a, a client um, and it's going to kind of keep me wrapped up for the next uh, few weeks here um, doing some uh, drone piloting stuff for him some commercial property stuff so um, but I'm still going to be doing reviews and I'm still going to do in uh, videos in between what I'm going to try and do for you guys I'm going to try and just do um, some batching which um, I might do on like uh, the weekend is uh, get in there um, film a whole bunch of videos for you guys and then stack those up so that way you guys have videos to watch I hope you guys have been enjoying all the reviews um, that I've been doing lately I know I've been having a ton of reviews and I just wanted to give a shout out to GearBest for sending me all the quadcopters to do the reviews on I thank those guys so much um, you know I, I I love doing reviews it doesn't matter you know if it's a tiny little micro or it's a full size drone you know whatever it is um, I enjoy doing um, each and every one of those reviews for you guys and I want you guys to be informed as well so that way if you you know um, happen to be out at the store or you're wanting to buy a new quadcopter or something like that I want you guys to be able to have the information about the drone what comes with it what the video looks like and things like that so that's the main reason I do all those reviews and I know not everybody watches every single review not everybody wants to know about the nanos or the micros you know or the different kind of drones so and that's okay that's not a problem so um, but anyway um, this is just kind of an impromptu about me so um, a lot of my new subscribers you guys don't know a whole lot about me um, a lot of the original guys that have been hanging out with me from the very beginning um, they know a lot about my story so I thought I'd just share it with you guys really super quick so where I came from so my name is obviously Mike with Mike's drones and more um, so I'm 42 years old um, I grew up um, my father was in the Air Force and I'm an Air Force brat um, so I didn't join the Air Force because of my asthma so but unfortunately so I, I couldn't do military service even though I did really want to I tried every branch trust me um, but regardless so moved around a lot as a kid um, lived in California mostly Southern California Orange County I've lived in Phoenix Arizona I've lived in Nevada um, currently I'm in uh, Colorado I'm up in uh, Boulder County Colorado if you guys haven't figured that out by yet um, so I live I moved out here in uh, 2003 uh, before that I lived in Phoenix Arizona for about 10 years and before that I lived in Southern California in the uh, Orange County region for um, most of my life until I graduated high school basically so how I got into um, RC's so how I got in RC's was about 18 19 years old when I moved to Phoenix Arizona my cousin was really huge into racing um, RC buggies um, those little uh, basically like um, off-roads so I went to a couple races with him and I really got excited and uh, I've always had RC's as a kid um, the little play ones you know stuff like that um, but when I seen him do these races and things like that it was really cool so my very first like professional RC um, was a team associated um, buggy is what I had um, and I loved that thing man I had it tricked out um, I spent all kinds of money that's where I learned how to uh, do soldering and uh, electronics and uh, things like that so it kind of just progressed from there um, after that um, I kind of put the hobby away for quite some time until I got back into the quadcopters again um, so that's kind of how my world as the uh, RC's kind of um, went through my life um, let's see so currently um, I work for a IT company um, I can't say exactly where I work um, just because the company doesn't want me to divulge that information but I work in the IT field so I'm kind of a computer nerd <laughs> if you guys have figured that out so that's why I love really working with um, quadcopters and, and things like that because I love technology I love computers and I love um, anything to do with that kind of thing so that's really what I do enjoy doing uh, very much so uh, what my plans are for this particular channel I'm gonna keep doing reviews um, the reviews uh, I love doing that 
and uh, I really enjoy um, sharing that with you guys. Um, how this channel started out, so if uh, some of my new subscribers don't know, so originally uh, last year on Black Friday I was looking for a more um, professional drone. I couldn't afford a DJI drone at the time. Um, it was just way out of my budget. So on Black Friday um, over at Walmart, um, they had the Promark P70 VR drone that was on sale. And I went to YouTube because I was looking for reviews on it. I wanted to see um, what people's thoughts were and things like that. Um, and there wasn't many reviews or anything like that, so I took really a, just a shot in the dark, and I was like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to go Black Friday, it's on sale for a hundred bucks, I'm going to go buy it. So I bought it, and I did my very first video, and I'll put the link up at the top for you guys if you guys want to go back and watch that. It was a horrible video. It was down here in my basement. I absolutely had no lights. I had one light there, um, and I still i am working on lighting for you guys. I know that the lighting down here is not perfect. Um, but unfortunately, you know, my budget, um, you know, I, I just, I can't afford, you know, the fancy lighting and things like that yet, but I'm working on it. And, and if you've noticed, my videos have gotten much, much, much better uh, from the very beginning. But anyway, so that video was horrible. Um, the lighting was horrible. <laughs> the shadow was horrible. I didn't know anything about lighting or anything like that. Um, but I learned from it. Um, my second video that I did on it when I took it actually out to the park and flew it, um, that's really the video that kind of really pushed my channel up. And um, I just got really lucky. I knew there was a niche out there and I knew that there was people that were interested in drones like me that wanted to become professional pilot like myself and um, things like that. So that's really what kind of um, um, forward bounced me into the channel and really helped grow my channel. So that was uh, really the very first drone. I did a lot of modifications to it because um, the camera that it came with, it's okay. It's a 720p. It's not the best, but I wanted something better, and I attached a, a uh, action camera to it and everything like that, and um, I slowly saved up. You guys seen that, and then I finally afforded my first um, DJI, which was the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Um, I still love that quadcopter. Um, I keep it as my backup um, when I go out on jobs and stuff like that, um, just in case something happens to the 4K and um, I need a backup drone. And it still is a great drone. Um, all I love DJI products. I wish DJI would send me some stuff to review for you guys, um, like the Spark um, or an Osmo or something like that. I have bugged DJI over and over and over again and I have gotten really no responses from anybody so um, you know that's okay that's not a problem so um, you know hopefully maybe when I get to be a little bit bigger um, youtuber you know maybe I will get their attention we'll see so uh, for the future of the channel um, what I'm expecting so obviously I'm going to continue to do more drones um, I really just want to stick with the drones. I want to kind of share with you guys my experience being a now FAA certified pilot. Um, what it's like being a FAA certified pilot. I enjoy sharing that with you guys. I enjoy sharing my shoots with you. Now every time I go on a job, obviously unfortunately I can't share that footage with you sometimes or I can share maybe a snapshot of what I take um, just because a lot of the clients um, they don't want their information out there publicly. I work with a lot of realtor, uh, realtors and a lot of real, realty companies, um, so it's proprietary information. Once I've snapped the pictures or the video that they want, um, that is their information, and I'm not really allowed to share that with you guys, unfortunately. Now, if it's something I'm going out doing on my own that I've done, like when we went to Deerfield, um, when I went over to the, uh, um, the mill over here, um, not far from my house, um, you know, that kind of thing. If it's on my own time, um, I can share that with you guys. Um, but unfortunately, when it's professional and things like that, um, I can't share that with you. I wish I could. Um, and But I, I do always ask clients to say, you know, I have a YouTube channel, and I let them know. So um, what is it like being a YouTuber? Um, so a lot of times, uh, you know, a lot of the bigger YouTubers, They've got a lot of fancy equipment. They've got a lot of um, extra time in their hands. Um, me, that's not <laughs> the same. So unfortunately, um, I do work, you know, a full-time job. Um, I work 40 hours a week. Um, so I'm doing this in between my 40-hour job. Um, also, um, I run a business on the side. You know, you guys know that I 
um, fly drones professionally now that I have my FAA license. You know, that's really what um, I kind of started the, the whole channel for, really, was to kind of uh, help to get me out there, to get me learning professionally, to get my name out there, hopefully, and um, it's worked, and, and it is working, and it's doing great, and I appreciate, um, you know, everybody that's watched my videos, everybody that has um, uh, commented. I try and get back to every single person. I can't always get back to everybody because I'm so busy doing everything. Um, you know, it's really hard being a YouTuber and um, doing a, a work-life balance uh, with uh, family and work. You know, because a lot of times I'll be down here on the computer um, editing video till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night I've been down here editing videos, getting them ready for you guys. It's really hard. Um, you know, it's not uh, quite that easy as a lot of people think. Um, now, anybody could just slap together a 30-second video, you know, and it'd be garbage. But I try and do the best videos I can for you guys with what I have. Um, like I said, I don't have all the professional equipment. I don't have a YouTube space where I can go and um, use professional cameras, professional lighting, and things like that. I'm down here in my basement. This is my basement. This is my office space area um, that I use to run my business and to also upload the videos for you guys. So that's basically um, how I do things. So I hope this was informative for you guys. Um, if I missed anything, if you want some more information, um, you know, I'll be glad to give you as much as I can without, you know, completely uh, divulging everything. There's a lot of things that I can't tell you, unfortunately, um, that I wish I could sometimes, <laughs> but I just can't share everything about my life with you guys. But um, again, I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Um, it's very important to me. You know, don't think that you're just a number to me because you are not. Um, you know, when I first started out being a YouTuber, um, I started out with three subscribers. One of those subscribers was my aunt. <laughs> so, and uh, when I made that first initial video, I mean, um, I didn't think it would uh, do anything at all. You know, even my wife, you know, said, you know, ah, you know, it, why are you putting that on there? I was like, well, you know what? Nobody's done any reviews on this particular drone, and you know what? I'm going to put it on there, and I'm going to see. And you know what? It really uh, helped grow my channel, and that's really what has uh, made the channel become what it is. I mean, without that, you know, um, Gear Best would have never noticed me. Without that, um, you know, I never would have probably been able to afford getting the DJI Phantom 3 standard or the DJI Phantom 3 4K. Um, without starting the channel, really, I wouldn't have really known what to do. And, you know, I watch YouTubers as well, so I'm just like you guys. I have my own subscriptions. I watch the big YouTubers like uh, Quadcopter101. He's a great guy. He does some awesome reviews. Um, I love watching the RC Sailors, uh, Nate and Abby. I love watching their reviews. Um, I watch uh, Justin over at um, uh, RC Drum Camps. Um, I love watching him. He's got some awesome videos. Um, I love watching um, Billy Kyle. Um, he's pretty cool. I watch, um, uh, what's his name, um, Heron. Um, he does uh, like the drone flights and stuff like that. So I watch all the big YouTubers just like you guys do too. And uh, that's where sometimes I get some of their ideas. Um, you know, because I mean, obviously, you know, they're getting drones to review as well from um, companies like Gearbest, uh, Banggood, you know, all the toy companies and things like that. So they're getting stuff to review as well. So that's where sometimes I get my ideas. Because um, I, I want to see what, uh, if I had a difficulty with a quadcopter, I want to see, did they have the same difficulty that I had? Um, you know, or I hope that they watch my video and they say, hey, he had a good um, experience with his quadcopter. And um, I hope you guys appreciate that because I really want you guys to be um, informed consumers. So that way when you go out, you can say, okay, you know, this guy gave it a good review. This guy didn't give it a good review. This guy gave it an okay review. And that way you can really be informed about what you're putting your money out there to buy. <laughs> so that being said, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this short, impromptu, um, just uh, regular video, just getting to know me and uh, sharing my life with you guys. So if you uh, enjoyed the video, guys, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like my channel, if you like my reviews, um, if you want me to keep uh, doing what I do, uh, hit the subscribe button for me down at the bottom, guys. And if you hit that little bell, that just lets you guys know 
when I've got new videos. I typically upload on Thursdays and Fridays, but I've been getting a lot of quadcopters in from um, GearBest, and I love it. So that's given me the ability to put out more videos for you guys. So um, with that being said, guys, um, uh, again, I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Thank you for all the awesome comments and the support. There's some trolls out there. You know who you are. <laughs> and uh, I've had to ban a few people. Um, but I would say, you know, for the most part, like 99% of you guys, you know, 99% of you guys are awesome. Um, I love every single one of you guys. Uh, like I said, there's a few trolls out there every now and then. They'll throw something, you know, just I try and make my comments in my um, forms family friendly. Um, you know, that's why I don't cuss in my videos. That's why I don't yell in my videos or anything like that. Um, you know, so I try and make it a family friendly that way anybody can watch my videos and hopefully not be offended. That's the whole idea. So, but uh, anyway, guys, again, um, thanks for all the support. Um, really, honestly and truly, without subscribers, without the comments, without the interaction from you guys, there would be no channel whatsoever. I wouldn't be doing reviews because I wouldn't, nobody would be watching my videos. So, I really, really do honestly appreciate you guys and also um, I just realized I, I didn't even realize it but earlier this week um, I had my um, hundredth video um, it was the video that I did on the small little uh, foldable one the square one that was my hundredth video um, and I didn't even realize it um, otherwise I would have put something in there so I'm really um, stoked about that and I uh, can't believe I hit a hundred videos um, Wow that's insane <laughs> I've been doing this for uh, for a while now since last uh, November so Guys, uh, again, if you like the video and everything, uh, just hit the subscribe and the like button for me. I appreciate that. In the meantime, let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Have a great rest of your week.